Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am KB Kim Baker. Uh, if this is your first time visiting me, then welcome. Um, for all my people coming back, I thank you so very much. It does mean a lot to me. Um, I am a lifetime thrifter turned reseller, and I resell on a few different platforms. This basically is my journey. I'm telling you the tips, the tricks, and showing you my hauls. So if you're interested in reseller content, then do me a favor. Consider hitting that like and subscribe down below because I could use a lot of help. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, so it's Thrift Haul Thursday. It is my favorite day of the week. This is where I go into my local Goodwills to become a personal shopper of items no longer available in stores to resell for profit. Um, and let's see, this week I think I got, nine, I know I got 19 items, I spent 15 on one, so 19 and 15, like $34, I spent $34. So let's dive in and see what I got. I do save my best and favorite items for last, so make sure you stay tuned to the end. And okay, all right, I'm going to show you the oddest piece first. Okay, I don't know why, but this piece, I'm just like, I think I picked up a coat that needed a liner and it's from the same store and maybe possibly it could be to it <laughs> and it was only a dollar so anyway this is a merino wool and it looks like it could be totally um, a jacket um, lining uh, a trench lining so I am going to go into my stock and see if I did pick up an item that would match this otherwise um, I currently am like, I don't know, maybe I could sell it as a very edgy retro uh, marine wool sleeveless zip vest dress, whatever. <laughs> so there you go. There is no tags except, well, there's a tag. Um, so there is an RN number. It's Carlisle. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of the company. Carlisle's Extra Terra. Anyway, um, I looked it up by using the RN number. So if you ever have um, clothing where you're like, okay, I've got nothing going on here, and you can find the RN number, um, you go through and you Google it. Um, it there is um, an RN for textiles, and it's like a little government site. It's how all of the companies are registered. And um, so, yeah, you can look it up and find out maybe who... Um, represents the company. doesn't necessarily always give you the best info, but sometimes you can actually click and find out, okay, well, it says this, then you click on it and it does give you different branches and stuff, which is awesome. So, um, but yeah, it's a good tool. Um, nice to know. All right. This piece, guys, it is so stinking soft and I got it because it is so stinking soft. It is, it is, it's just stinking soft. It's adorable. It is this like little nautical sleeveless, um, lace up v and neck size large a billabong um and in black and white print so um this would make the most comfy cozy lounge dress and um swimsuit cover up so i might actually try this one on. <laughs> sorry um if you guys have missed me i am trying to do a little bit of catch up i would like to go through and get these items listed so hopefully um, if you are interested they are listed if you go to my down below i do have all my information you can go to my selling platforms um, or you can contact me directly so there you go anyway next piece let's see this one happens to be an allison are you allison taylor 100 percent silk size six <gasps> Dang, and you're just so stinking cute. All right, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big, I don't like wearing silk. But anyway, um, this is like this, I don't know. Is it leopard? Is it cheetah? Maybe I'll just list it as animal. No, I usually Google because I can't keep them straight. Um, and it has this fringed beaded bottom. Now there is one, I um, one small one missing here. It does have the string. I will snip the string. I will note it, okay? Guys, if your items are flawed, don't be afraid to list them, just disclose it. I just listed and sold, and it sold within the same week. It was a um, silk um, dress barn, and uh, unfortunately it 
had a hole in the back hip. I had gotten it back from thread up. And um, so I showed the hole, I noted the hole, I sold it, I still made $20 profit, and I still got a five star. So don't be afraid if you find flawed items to go through and list it. Now, of course, my goal is not to pick up flawed items, but that's just too stinking cute and it's really not that big of a flaw. Anyway, all right, next. All right, who, who are you? Who are you? Let's see, this is Tease Me. What a cute name. <laughs> I like that one. Um, and it is a size five. Oh, crap. You know what that means? It's a juniors. But that's okay. You know what, guys? I don't know. I will go through and put it on juniors. And then I go through um, your junior sizes. So let's see. What's that? I said this is a size five. You go down two sizes. So you could list this under a woman's size three. And then note that it is a junior size five. I'm wearing this juniors dress is it speechless it is just too stinking cute um but yeah so um you can list them underneath both there you go um it is new with tags which is awesome i didn't realize it was a five but um yeah from dillard so it is uh the sleeveless what are you made of anything nothing spectacular but it is a sleeveless um sheath with a elastic waist ruffled in this, um, I would say, reptile and sateen finish. There you go. Um, yeah. Scoop neck or the V? Oh, it looks like it's a V. It's more of a V. Anyway, moving along, moving along. Let's see. This is Laundry by Shelly Siegel. It is a size eight. Um, I don't think it's made of anything. Particular. I'm sure it's not. But let's just look because those are wonderful keywords all kinds of keywords in fact this one I will probably use like a knit because it is like a it's not it is like a knit feel to it um, almost let's see no nope, polyester spandex anyway um, it does give me like uh, retro 80 vibes with this color blocking um, are we fake pockets are they real I think they're fake um, single breasted lapeled uh yeah anyway uh it's cute blazers were doing really good they have started slowing down of course we are getting into warmer weather all right in fact guys oh my gosh i don't know what it was you know the weather like i came from illinois so like when the weather comes in like a lion it goes out like a lamb so march it comes in like a lion and then april it goes out like a lamb i got news my sales came in like a lion in March, and right now they have like landed as a lamb in April. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I just went from like sending out three packages a day to like, what? <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I hope you're all having better sales than I am right now. Uh, who knows what it is? The weather change, everybody getting back to maybe going to work. Um, but here we go. This is Larry Levine. This is a size six. And it is, of course, 60% da, 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 wool. So um, it is, of course, this trench, and it's in this black with a notched collar, single breasted. And we do have pockets. Gotta love pockets. Not everything has pockets, everything should. Um, it does need a lots of love with my little lint roller. And I did pick up a new one recently because. I don't know, I just find like, um, especially like animal hair um, really gets into these fibers. Um, I picked it up from Amazon. It has like little teeth and it actually roll it. So um, I can't wait to give it a shot. All right, onward. Okay, this one is a Josephine Choss. Is that how I say that? You know, I love slaughtering their names. <laughs> All right, it is a size 10. I don't believe we are made of anything spectacular. Uh, da, 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 da. No. And no. But um, it is this really cute, and I just sold one. So when I just sell an item, um, I want to say maybe it did sell on product. But anyway. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, this one, uh, size 10, uh, it has this very oriental Asian 
ethnic flair um, with the mandarin collar and these covered buttons. Um, it, this red um, and black like floral, uh, I don't know if you can call it brocade because of the fact that I thought brocade maybe had just metallic to it, but maybe not. Um, I'll have to Google that. Anyway, um, it is a really super cool and I believe it's like a vintage 80s, but uh, more Googling will tell me or give me an idea, I guess. All right, next, this one is a Reno Rowan. Can you see that? Size 10. Um, and what are we made of? Anything? Are you spectacular? I don't know if you are or not. Thank you all for putting up with my humor and my singing because we all know it's not all that great. Ooh, this is cool. All right, now, um, and I'll go through and see. So it is made of wool. How much wool? How much wool? Do we say how much? Dry clean only. Wool, pure wool, 100% pure wool. So it is 100% pure wool. Now, um, I am trying to learn all kinds of things about vintage, guys. Ugh. Vintage is such a pain in the derriere, but it really does make a difference on your listing. So if you know something is vintage, the, 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 um, if it's a great brand, I will list it under vintage and then I will relist it again under its brand name. If it is like a brand that is like not heard of, I will just list it under vintage. Um, and if you are utilizing Poshmark as one of your selling platforms, you will get a higher dollar amount when it gives you its little estimates for vintage than you do for its actual um, brand. Anyway, um, this particular tag, I can actually go through and look up and get, maybe get an idea a little bit more so because this is a wool tag and they actually have, um, if you haven't ever used Vincent, Vin, Vinches, Vintage Guild, um, you just Google vintage tags and usually the vintage guild tag thing comes up and you can go in. It's a great resource. It does give you a lot of information. Um, if you have particular brands, you can actually Google the brand and it'll show you the different styles of tags for each one of like the decades, which is really cool. It does have like um, education on your periodic aesthetics. Is that how I should say that? Um, your period aesthetics. Yeah. So like, you know, your 1800, blah, 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 blah. Um, and uh, wool, um, that wool tag actually has been utilized. And I can maybe go through and give this a date. Um, and I'm going to guess it's probably newer because it is, guess what? New with tags. Doesn't always mean it's new with tags because who knows? Um, it is a uh, it's very possible it could be dead stock. And what I mean by dead stock means that it is vintage, but it still has um, new tags. Um, and it was originally $159. So um, yes, I will go through and do more Googling and find out what I can list this under. All right, next. All right, I keep saying I'm not gonna pick up this brand, but it is so well made and I, I can't leave it behind. Someday somebody is going to go through and go, oh, that chick's got a whole bunch of this. <laughs> and they're going to come shop my closet. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, um, these are entirely different pieces than what I normally pick up of theirs. This is a Tahari by author S. Levine. It is an 18W, so it's a great size. But it also is not a formal business attire, which is normally what I end up picking up. So um, I... I picked this up. It is this gorgeous floral. It does have a tie, so it's like a wrap blazer. It is super cute, notched collar, floral print. I don't know. Are we made of anything spectacular? Oh, new with tags. Oh my gosh, my favorite thing ever. Uh, original R S R M S R P. Let's get it right, Kim. <laughs> Let's is one hundred and thirty nine dollars. So. Um, new tags. Okay. Yeah. How could I pass that up? Sorry. New tags. Always. I am like always on the hunt for that. Um, I don't really see a material tag. I don't really know. So anyway, I'm not going to keep wasting your time, but, um, yeah, new tags. How could I go wrong with such a cute print? Great large size. All right. Another one by him. Again, 
it is a, a less formal. Oh, geez, and it's a six P. But you know what? I just I have been selling six P's. If you guys don't, when you do your listings, I mean, I'm sure you've probably heard it a million times. And if you're like an old dog that is just watching me just for the kicks of it, um, <laughs> then you already know these tricks. But, you know, you put your brand, you put dress, you put the style, you maybe put the color, but you put S, Z, and then put the size um, so that people can find it. So um, make sure, especially with like specialty sizing, like 6P, this is a petite, um, and it is absolutely super stinking adorable. So it's a 6P, it is Tahari Arthur S. Levine, but, um, and uh, yes, you can see it is a lace fit and flare with a beautiful ribbon trim. Oh my gosh, it is so stinking adorable. I love it. V-neck, yes. And I will uh, be listing that and making sure that I add uh, bridal, uh, bachelorette, um, all those kind of key words because people are searching for those. <laughs> now, uh, this is one of my bread and butters. It is my Ann Taylor. Gotta love me some Ann Taylor. It is a size medium. This is a very funky knit dress. Can you see? It's a blue on blue with like, um, I don't know. It's not really cut out, but all this like, well, down here it looks like it's like got little cutouts. Um, just, and it's a knit. Um, it is really like thick. It almost, if it was that smoother, it would. I would say it's scuba, but it's not. It's not a scuba. It's viscose nylon and spandex. Um, and did I say it is a size medium? So yes, um, I thought it was adorable, very well made, and Ann Taylor is my bread and butter. All right. Next, guess who you think it is? This one happens to be an Ann Taylor loft, size six. <laughs> And I did leave a few pieces behind, guys, you know, but um, I like this little fit and fair sleeveless scoop neck. Um, I don't know, in this like diagonal striped knit print. So um, I thought it was adorable. Um, my, In all honesty, I would rather pick up um, non plain items and more outrageous items from that brand because then they stand out. Because I do know that there's a lot on the market. Um, I don't mark them for really cheap and they still sell. So um, yeah, I mean, I usually like, my goal is to get at least 29 out of my Ann Taylors. So I list them in the 30s, usually 39, offer 30, there you go. All right, so <clears throat> this is Antonio Milani. Now I have a few of his dresses, but I haven't gotten to listing them yet because they were in my boxes from, you know, that terrible word we don't say anymore. <laughs> anyway, this is Antonio Milani, size 10, and it is, I believe it's faux. I'm going to look just to make sure that I don't lie to you because, you know, I want to be completely honest. Polyester, elastane, there you go. But it is this really super gorgeous, it gives me very much so um, an Indian vibe, um, but it, I don't know, is it a drop, I would say drop waist. So um, drop waist, um, I don't know, an A-line bottom skirt, sleeveless, sheath, I, 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 it's super soft. It's in that gorgeous camel color. Um, yes, absolutely 100%. For a buck, I'm taking it. All right, we'll see how he does. Yeah. All right. This piece, I have never, it's my first time finding Max Azaria. No BCBG, no none of that. Uh, this is size zero. It is a black formal. It is really super cute. So it is like, I don't know, straight across. It does have this little waist accent um, and this little bow bustle butt. There you go. It has a little bow bustle butt which is absolutely stinking adorable. Um, it's just in black. Did I say what size? Yes, a zero. So um, I know that this is a very um, expensive brand. We'll see how well it does. All right. I did buy one piece for a full price this week. You'll have to wait to see who it is. All right. This one is Solitaire by Ravi. 
I don't know. I'm not going to slaughter that K name. All right, let's see. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can see. Anyway, I believe it's vintage. Um, oh, shoot. There is a tiny little separation right here, which I did not notice because I did go over this with a fine tooth comb because it is a pleather. It is a vegan faux leather. If you're not using vegan, make sure you add that in your keywords, guys, because people do search for vegan leather. leather. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, it is a size large, and um, it is, I think, this really super adorable. It has just this, like, ruffle detailing. It has definitely the 70s vibe with all of the, uh, what do you call it? Okay, wait. It's um, not just exposed. No, well, it's not contrasting, but it's exposed stitching. Um, it does have belt and pockets. I think it's just stinking adorable in a beautiful gray. So, yes. And I don't know. I will just note that. Of course, my hair would cover that if you have longer hair. It's very tiny. It's just right there. And that's the only spot that I see. So, anyway. But there. Okay. Um... This is a J. Jill size medium leather, real leather, um, and but it's a suede. What's the difference? I don't understand. I know the suede has the texture, but I mean, do you still put leather? Do you just put suede? Do you put leather and suede? I don't know. Anyway, it has this very interesting detail. I'm hoping you guys can see. I had to try on my lights. Um, let me see if I can move it. Maybe it's not moving, um, but. Yeah, my sun is setting at different times now. So um, I'm not getting the sun that I normally get, but it has, if you can see, this like mandarin color. And again, this very much of an Asian oriental flair. Um, I'll have to Google. I'm sure they have a name, like I said before. Um, and it has pockets. So in this like brown color, um, split little peplum in the back. But yes. So... We'll give that a shot. I have no idea. I haven't sold really any J. Jill at all. <laughs> I don't really pick her up all that much, though, so that could be why. Um, but, all right. Now, we're getting to the end of my haul. In fact, I only have three pieces left. These three are my favorite. And I will tell you why. I have found a cachet. This is one of my best-selling brands guys um, besides vintage and um, of course I would list this probably under both um, cache was um, originally an 80s I don't know a sophisticated nightlife sexy kind of store for a little bit more of a higher end I, I don't know how you would describe it um, if you guys know you know have an idea how you would describe that store let me know anyway it is a size 4 it is this gorgeous metallic like purple it does have this um, jeweled accent with um, our, which I'm thinking this could be worn off the shoulder or on the shoulder. Um, unfortunately, it is missing one rhinestone. I will note that one missing rhinestone. It has this gorgeous side ruching and back ruching to give you that wonderful bodycon sexy appeal. There you go. Anyway, my favorite brand, and it usually sells work pretty good money for me um, a lot of the times like I have some that are not as formal and I will list them at 65 and offer 50 um, if it's more casual I might offer or list them at 50 and offer 40 but it's not something that I sell for 29 ever all right this is so stinking adorable it's like so retro 60s the color I mean I don't know if you can see this it is that 60s diner style color turquoise okay and it's dennis by dennis basso i don't know never heard of him and it's a 2x which is a great size and it is this stinking adorable white trimmed raincoat i am like okay so guys polka dot lining we are definitely dealing with a retro 60s all the way i have no idea on this person if you guys ever know Please feel free to drop it down below because, you know, we can all help each other out. Uh, let's see, is it made of anything? Polyester, polyester, poly, you're a thing. Um, yeah, but it is so adorable. I just can't even stand it. So I can't wait to list this one. And hopefully, 
I'm holding my videos back so that I hopefully get my hauls, my most recent hauls listed prior to you guys watching them so that if you are interested, you may purchase um, straight from the site. But, you know, my life is a little bit of a mess. Um, watch my hot mess video and I'll, you'll see it all. Anyway, let's see. This one is my full price item, guys. And um, I don't know. I'm going to tell you, I shop out of season. And the reason that I will shop out of season is because when it's summertime, I guarantee I'm not going to find any shorts. When it's wintertime, I probably am not going to find any coats. So I don't mind picking up and putting this into, I'm not going to call it my death pile, my money pile, my money room, my money life. Um, anyway, uh, this is a Marmot and it's for life, uh, Marmot for life. Um, and it is a waterproof hooded ski jacket with zip pockets and you are a size extra large. So it's in pristine condition. It was $17.99. <clears throat> Excuse me. But my local Goodwills, if I spend $20, then I can go through and use a 20% off coupon on any regular priced item. So I got 20% off of $17.99, which what? Dollar eighty, dollar eighty, three sixty maybe. So I, like about fifteen bucks I spent on this. Um, these um, sold. Now I'm not listing it now. I'm gonna wait because if I list it now, it is going to sit, and I will probably get lowball offers. I don't want lowball offers. Um, I paid up for it, and when I list it, um, I'm gonna probably list it. According to the solds that I just had looked up, um, at least at 150, if not higher, because there were plenty of solds in the 130 and 120 dollar range. So, anyway, there you go. There you have it. This is my haul for this week. Um, this, uh, like I said, I spent like 35 dollars, not even, on all of these items. I can make that back selling probably just one stinking piece, um, depending on the piece. And how addicting is that? Ooh. Anyway, until next time, guys, I appreciate you joining me. See you later.